I'm literally so scared. I'm so scared of what, what's happening here. What's up you guys, Sydney Morgan here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am glad to have you here today. So I recently came across this page on Snapchat. So it's one of those stories that you can like subscribe to. It is called Beauty Hacks. And they have some very interesting hacks that I would love to watch and react to with you guys and also try some of them. So if you wanna see me react to these beauty hacks, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going for a very chill vibe today. I'm trying something new. I, I guess let's get started. Also, I went with pink for the background. I, I don't know, I, I thought it was cute. It's kind of purple, magenta maybe. Okay, let's watch this. So this one is called seven beauty hacks that'll make you say what the and then and then the f word it says want bigger lips lash glue what is she gonna do here she's putting lash glue above and below her lip and then attaching her lip to both sides to make it bigger please someone tell me this is a joke tell me she's kidding and she's not actually gonna wear it like this why why i've seen people do this on tiktok recently because i think that's a trend to do the lips to look like Sarah Cameron from the Outer Banks. I'm sure you guys have seen that too. So basically they do the lash glue and then they and then they do their lips. Do I really wanna, oh my, I, here's my lash glue. Um, a little lash glue mustache and a little bit underneath. My fan. If you know me, you know this fan is my favorite thing that I own. I don't know if I put it up high enough. I don't think this is gonna work. Should I just try it? <laughs> Literally send help. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Ew! Why does it look like that? No, no, undo it, undo it. Ew! Yeah, no, that one, that one's a hard pass. Let, let's see what they have next for us. Want feathered brows? Don't we all? It's so trendy. Glue stick. So she's really going in with this glue stick. Toothpick. This literally hurts me to watch. Physically hurts me. She's smoothing it down with the toothpick. Oh girl, somebody help her. That's not what feathered brows are. Is it? I'm, I was not aware that, that that is what feathered brows are. Ah, I can't believe I'm doing this right now. What does my life come to? Okay, am I gonna do this to both of my eyebrows? Um, she literally went in. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Okay, now before that dries, she like par gives her eyebrow like a middle part, basically. Um, this is causing me so much emotional distress. I'm gonna go in with the spoolie, start kinda. Girl, what is happening here? Oh, wait, it's kind of working. Oh, dear God. Are you freaking kidding me? This is the final product. This is the before. In the after, what do we think? To be honest with you, I don't think I've ever been so scared of an eyebrow in in my entire life. I personally will not be partaking in this ever again, and I would not recommend it. What do I do now? Do I leave this in for the rest of the video? Ah, um, I think I'm gonna leave it. I feel like one is kind of a look. Okay, can't find your eyeliner brush. Hate when that happens. But luckily, we have spaghetti. Okay, she's going in with a spaghetti noodle into the eyeliner. She's drawing a wing with the end of a hard spaghetti noodle. And to be honest, it looks flawless. The way that she did it is absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, I don't, I don't feel like we are gonna be that lucky today, but we're gonna try our best. I have these spaghetti noodles. My mom saw me take these, ah. My mom saw me take these out of the pantry and was like, Sid, what are you doing? I said, I said, mom, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And the way that like 
I'm sure there are lots of other household things that you would have that would work better than a spaghetti noodle for eyeliner. Also, if you use eyeliner pomade, I, I don't trust you. So, do I even own that? I literally don't even know if I own that. What is this? Oh, period. Sigma. Okay, so let's let's get into the headspace of somebody going in for this hack. Oh my gosh, I can't find my eyeliner brush. What will I use? Walks to the kitchen for dinner. Your husband's making pasta. You're like, this, this is it. This is perfect, this is what I need. So we're gonna just absolutely destroy this eyeliner real quick. Oh man, this physically pains me. Look at this jar I just destroyed. This is gonna be our hack side, I guess. Everybody say a quick prayer. I mean, she, she thick, basically. Um, did it work? Yes. I, I mean, yeah, it, it put eyeliner on my eye. Would, would I ever do this? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Actually, from far away, it's like not terrible. Maybe. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. We're just slowly destroying this side of my face. I don't know how they got there so sharp because that did not happen for me. Okay, want fake freckles? I mean, don't we all? Cacao powder, which is like cocoa powder, I'm assuming. Puts it in a bowl, mixes it with water, gets a little toothbrush or like spackling brush, dips it in this little concoction and starts just kind of splattering that, stippling that on her face. And it actually looks pretty good on her. It looks, it looks all right. And then, and then she says pretty yummy and she eats it. So this technique I'm actually pretty familiar with because we use this in special effects a lot, especially when you're doing old age makeup because you want it to look realistic and you want to give it that like porous feel like natural skin has. And especially on top of prosthetics also because obviously prosthetics, you're painting them. And so you're painting it one solid color and if you wanna add that realistic dimension back in, you go in with some yellow or some brown to kind of give it that, those natural pores. So the more you know. Um, I have my Hershey's cocoa powder right here and this is a Ben Nye little toothbrush looking thing that I use for special effects. Ah, uh, where do I wanna mix this at? Um, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it on top of this mirror. I'm definitely gonna regret this. Ah, I already regret it. Ah, please tell me y'all saw that. I'm putting it back in. I hope nobody wants this. Why do so many makeup hacks use cocoa powder? Like, I genuinely don't understand this. And I'm just going to I guess take some of this water onto this mirror. I'm making this so much harder than it needs to be because I'm too lazy to get up and go get like a bowl. I'm gonna mix it with this. It's dripping on my lap right now and it feels really, really, oh no. Cause you want it to be pretty like liquid, like liquidy. So it will splatter correctly. And I'm gonna dip my brush in here. This is gonna get everywhere when I try to splatter it. I'm not looking forward to this. Let's just go for it. I need a mirror. I, I'm gonna try and get it right here, but like, you can't direct it, you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm so scared. Ow, I think it got in my eye. That's probably not, oh God. Should I just do it on half of my face? Let me, it's definitely in my eye. Oh my God, wait, I can't see. I'm gonna like tap it in over here cause there's not really supposed to be freckles there. This looks really cute and really natural. I think the color of the cocoa powder is very similar to natural freckles and like other freckle products that I've used before. It's definitely not good for your skin. It smells weird and I think it'll smudge, but it does look pretty good. What do you guys think? I didn't go too heavy, but it's definitely there. And I think it looks cute. Yeah, actually very cute. I would do this again, but I'm not gonna use cocoa powder. I'm gonna use my freckle product. So that one was not terrible. Let's see what they have next for us. Okay, it says, want a fun lip? Yeah, I do. You already know. Purple lip gloss, because we all own that, right? That's just, everyone has purple lip gloss, duh. Tape, I don't really know what kind of tape this is. It looks like 
kind of looks like medical tape and she is taping off zigzags it looks like and then going over with black pulls them off I would think that the tape would pull off the lip gloss underneath, but apparently it did not do that here. Let's do it. Okay, I have duct tape right here. That, that'll that have to work, right? Let me rip this duct tape and I'm gonna cut it into some strips to prepare. There's random eyelashes stuck to my scissors. That's very on brand for me, honestly. I'm not mad at it. This has to be enough. I feel like, well, one more just for good luck. We're gonna do these two. So I'm gonna start with making my whole lip this bright pink. And this one, I feel like we need the whole lip for. All right, let's just go in like normal. <gasps> okay, that's, that's not that bad as far as the lines. The color, however, it's that bad. Um, no offense if, if you like this color, I just, never mind. I'll stop talking. I would say that's dry enough to put these on. Now, they like cut theirs in half, but I don't care that much, so I'm gonna not be able to talk. So, here we go. <coughs> okay, so like, did it work? I mean, yeah, when you do stuff with tape to get a straight line, it's never gonna be the cleanest line because like lipstick goes underneath it. And I've actually done this to my lips before for a look that I did, I'll insert a photo. And I just drew them like with a brush and they were really straight and really clean. I, I, think, I think they were. Would I ever wear this? No. Would I ever do it again? No. Want an eyebrow lift? I do, definitely. I need it after this feather brow. Oh, so she's going back in with a glue stick and an eyebrow brush. <gasps> she's using my fan! Okay, so she's she's covering the end of her brows, which I've, I've done this before. Or if you want to like fake an eyebrow slit, this is how you do it too. Or if you're doing drag makeup, you can cover your whole brow. So definitely a good technique. You go in with the glue stick. You can also do this. I've done this before. I was kind of having like a mental breakdown and decided I wanted to shave off half of my eyebrows so that I could draw them higher. And it worked really well, but after like two or three days, I was like, okay, this is getting annoying because I had to draw my eyebrows in before I left the house every day because I didn't want to go out with half an eyebrow. So it was a lot of work, but I really liked how it looked. So lucky for me, we already have our glue stick out from the first eyebrow. So you guys are gonna have to tell me which eyebrow you prefer. All right, let's go in here. My hair is getting in it. It didn't really show how many layers of glue she did. And then I'm gonna powder it. Oh, perfect. Yup, that laid beautifully. Now we're gonna conceal it. And this is literally like the most full coverage concealer I've ever been in contact with. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. This is what it looks like. And it is so, it's so full coverage. And you only need a tiny, tiny bit. Now we're just gonna draw in, but like a little higher. It clearly works. I've done this before. I would say this hack is actually a hack and I would consider doing it if I, if I needed higher brows for some reason. I think this is the last hack. So, want a neat way to apply lipstick. I haven't heard anybody use the adjective, the adjective neat in a very long time. She's just rubbing her lipstick on this beauty blender in a circle, that, that's bizarre. And then she's like, like eating it. There's no chance it's gonna be that clean of a line. So bold and different. No, it is not. It would look the exact same if you just put it on your lips. I guess I'm gonna wipe this off and we're gonna try it. I wiped it off the best that I could. Um, my lips are gonna hurt so bad tomorrow. So I have this little beauty blender. I don't know if they wet it or not. Mine is not wet. And I'm just going to put this around it in a circle. I feel like this is really messing up my lipstick. I don't know what world this would be easier than just 
doing this. So we're just gonna pretend that there's some reason why we can't do that and we're gonna give this a try. Okay, this is such a weird, this is a weird thing that I'm doing here. This, this is really weird. I didn't come up with this, okay. <sighs> Are you freaking kidding me? This is exactly what I thought would happen. How are you ever going to get a clean line? My lips are not a circle. I look like Miranda Sings, not in a good way. This was definitely the worst hack out of all of them we tried. Well, that's a bold statement. They were all pretty bad. And lucky for you guys, there's no shortage of episodes of these beauty hacks. If you guys want me to make this a series where I go through episodes and try out more hacks, I'm 100% down for that and I'm probably gonna do it anyways. What do we think about the hacks? Are there any that you guys would try? Are they all flops? And please give this video a thumbs up down below. Give it a thumbs up for putting me through this because now I, I look like a, a clown, which I usually look like a clown. Unrelated. It really helps out the channel and definitely subscribe if you aren't already. We're growing so fast here and I'm also getting very much more active on YouTube. I'm working my way up to doing two weekly videos instead of one. If you're new here, I upload every Tuesday and hit that notification bell so you don't miss this quality content that we produce over here on the Sydney Morgan YouTube channel. And until next time, bye guys. I don't know why I do these things.